Hello everybody, I am Raghavesh. Welcome to Microsoft Word training video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the styles and themes and how to review the document and working with the tables, cross-referencing, table of content and the referencing. From my previous video, I need to continue for the drawing. So how we can draw the simple drawing using the shapes you can see here and you can choose here shape style now you can also change the line color and if you want to change the line thickness it's all options you can change and if you want to add some text on this box and you can do that by right, right click right click say edit text and then you can add the text so if you want to copy this drawing just select control hold control and then drag and drop and you can also insert the basic symbols like arrow mark and right click on the image format shape you can change the line color and then the line style and the thickness you can change once you complete the drawing you need to group them if you don't group it whenever you copy and paste you know the boxes or the arrow mark it keep changing or moving here and there so you have to select the drawing image and right click say group you can group it so once you group this becomes as a single drawing to select the drawing objects you can also use the option called select objects and then you can select by using the mouse The next one I want to discuss about the end note. For example, you want to give a simple note on this word. You can go to references, say end note. You can see the shortcut Alt Control D. So end note is going to add the note at the end of the chapter. Whereas if you want to insert, let us say like on the same page, you want to insert a note about this word on the same page, then you have to use an option called footnote. So there is option here insert footnote you can mention as a footnote over here so this is actually the end note and this is footnote Now let us move on to the next, next uh, agenda, which is nothing but styles and themes. Applying styles and themes will help to format the document very easily and very quickly. For example, I am going to delete all these empty spaces first of all. And you can see we have as a one section now. Only one section is there. Yeah, I want to retain the sections. Yeah, this is section two. What I will do? I will shift all this content into second section. 
that means we assume that uh, this is a kind of a report which starts from a particular page which you want to start with the numbering numerals in the first few pages we want to put a table of content and abstract and other stuffs so we don't want any header for this so i just remove this header now so you can see the header is from here like it's a chapter 1 whereas header in the first section there is no header and how to make a sections you can check in a previous video now you have uh, two sections one has got the full document and another section you want to use it for table of contents and table of figures such things first thing is we have to apply the styles and theme it's a very important feature which is going to save a lot of time if you practice properly for example this assumes to be the main heading okay so just keep the cursor on this line and make it as a heading one don't worry about the font color font style which can be fixed within few clicks later on and this is going to be your subheading that means I say now heading 2 and again this is your subheading I say heading 2 this is how generally which you see the technical reports or the books which has written using these formats like section 1 like 1.1 and 1.2 and so on now if you want to have some other subheading for example I say this is the like I say as a symbol and I say this is my heading 3 this one. and then you say now demo heading 1 you can also use the shortcut alt control 1 for heading 1 2 for heading 2, all control 2 and alt control 3 for heading 3. So, like this, you have to format your entire text. You have to start from the beginning of your text, find out which is going to be heading 1, which is going to be heading 2 and which is going to be heading 3 you have to do it this can be done with the help of shortcut as I mentioned earlier and also we have to make sure before we commence typing any document the body of the text it remains as a normal which you can see this option normal okay now before I explained you like how to change the line spacing and how to justify the paragraph handle. Now I will demonstrate how to do these things in a few clicks. See here, first I will focus on heading 1. Just click on heading 1 and go to this option. Right click, select all. You can see what happens now. Only heading 1 messages will be selected and say right click again modify you can change the font color you can change the font you can size the font size whatever you want you can change all of them line spacing all these stuffs can be changed in one click say ok the entire document even if you have 100 headings and all heading one will change the style same way you can also format heading 2 that means select all right click modify and the font style and the font color you can change same way for heading 3 also you can do that So you can see now the entire document this has been changed. Not only that, even the body of the text 
is, which is referred as a normal say right click select all you can observe carefully the list item will not be selected because list comes as a different formatting all other content this will be selected so once if this is selected for example you want to say right click modify you want to change the font type for example you want to change it to Arial the font size of 11 and you want to provide justified line spacings also you can change in one click there are many more options are available here you can explore those things like paragraphs line spacing multiple with let us say like 1.34 say okay you can see the entire document the formatting will be changed you no need to go to each and every paragraph and change it once you have done with the basic you know applying as a normal and if you keep typing the document formatting is going to be much easier and second thing in the books which you see like is as a heading one as a one and over here as a 1.1 and if you want to apply such things no need to type it manually like you know 1.1 like this because it's going to make our job very tough if you want to copy and paste the heading in a different places instead you can use something called multi-level list that means multi-level numbering so click on this option and you want to give like this heading that means first heading one then heading two then heading three you can see the denomination here just click on that so what you will see here so automatically one is placed here 1.1 this is 1.2 and and so on maybe you want to shift this particular message this this is supposed to come before section one just select all of them cut from this place and you want to paste it here just paste it you can see now this automatically from 2 it has changed to 1 whereas it was 1 it has changed to 2 you can see this change will reflect throughout the document so th this is going to benefit us a lot when you are going to have you know many pages the document or many headings which you want to move before or after a heading or you want to apply the multi-level numbering this option is going to help us a lot so you have to carefully apply the headings that means heading 1 heading 2 and heading 3 throughout your document and then finally place the numbering as a multi-level heading 1 and heading 2 heading 3 so once you have done this you know if you want to insert the table of content you can see here references table of content and see here heading 1 heading 2 and heading 3 this is a default option if you click on this the default table of content will be available here so if you want to get this one first you have to apply the headings using the options which is given in microsoft word otherwise it's not possible to get the table of content which you may prepare manually using the header one name and the page numbers you will be referring it manually which will take a lot of time and if you change anywhere the page number you have to change all the page numbers here whereas it's not like this in automatic option for example i just copy this multiple times and i want to just demonstrate to you you can see the sections are automatically changing the headings and you know very well now the logic state is moved to now page number 2 and I will also insert simply few more pages 